Okay, we got Kirk Franklin doing the cipher for the BET Awards. Just got back from my sabbatical. I'm one of God's kids. Never thought I'd make it this far, but God did. Whom shall I fear since the most high bought me? Since I've been 100, 50 tried to rob me. He can't cause God's got me. See, I'm God's property. Jesus is prodigy. Dope as ever probably. Always stay in character. Church can make some characters that categorically deny God's character. I don't mean to preach. Just trying to make you think. I was a dirty dish, now me and God in sync Like Biggie J and Nas, the greatest cake of both The lion and the lamb, we bow down to the goat God, I don't wanna make no more mistakes with my kids Wait, 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 hold on, son put hold, out on. Kirk did. hold on, 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 hold on Besides the fact that Kirk Franklin should not even be hosting the skankiest, nastiest, sin-filled genre in music he has no business being there period you don't represent god this is what people don't understand just because you open your mouth and say god <clears throat> like things bible like things does not mean anything Jesus said, these people praise me with their mouth, but their heart is far from me. You can put gospel in front of your name all you want to. It doesn't mean anything when you're doing this. And then in these lyrics, these lyrics of this, this song has got people incensed, and I get it. I really do, because I'm having a problem I'm, I'm having a problem with, here's, here's the problem I'm having with this. The, the lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat. Kirk, exactly what does that mean? I, I heard your explanation. I heard your explanation that the, the, the goat you're talking about means the greatest of all time, which is Jesus Christ. Well, who is the lion and the lamb? Biggie? Pac and Nas? That doesn't make any sense. I think that what happened was a Freudian slip. That's what I think happened here. I think we've seen who you really serve. You let the cat out the box, and now you're trying to fix things. But it's too late, Kurt. Anybody who possesses the spirit of God knows who Kirk Franklin really is. Kirk Franklin is not a represent representation of Christianity. He's not a representation of the gospel uh, um, uh, music genre. He's not a representation of God, period. He represents that goat he was talking about because mm -hmm. he crossed over a long time ago. See, here's the problem with crossover music. When you cross over, guess what happens most times? You never make your way back. So, Kurt, before you leave this earth, I really sincerely pray that you give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ and get saved.